Without Zendaya as its center, how would HBO's Euphoria be? Zendaya is the show's lifeblood, from her Emmy-winning narration in the early episodes to her work throughout Rue's character journey. HBO has already announced the third season of Euphoria, and the show's ratings are at an all-time high. But what specifically prompted her to quit the popular show? Make sure to watch the entire video to find out! But first, before we begin, please like and share the video and do subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive regular updates. So, let's start the video right away! According to a recent TV Line article, the end of the HBO Smash series Euphoria may be near. The source even wonders if Season 3 is the final season, with such a great audience rating week after week. I don't see Euphoria going away very soon, a third season has already been announced, and if fans like what they see, a fourth season is on the way. Zendaya, on the other hand, could leave the series. According to The Insider, Zendaya's career has taken off. She is incredibly gifted, and I predict that she will soon star in a number of huge films in the near future. As a result, scheduling difficulties arise. Not to add that the group as a whole is getting a tad old for playing teenagers. Euphoria is currently the second most watched show in HBO history, with only Game of Thrones standing in the way of the top slot. Zendaya plays Rue Bennett, a 17-year-old drug addict who serves as the series' narrator. Since its debut in June 2019, the program has gotten tremendously good reviews. Zendaya has done fairly well as Rue in Euphoria, winning an Emmy for her portrayal of the glamorous yet dark character. However, even the show's creators thought she would resign. Sam Levinson, the man behind the Euphoria magic, was terrified and spilled the beans in 2021. He stated that Zendaya found it quite difficult to allow herself to be emotionally exposed in various sequences. Do you know why Zendaya was not opening up or being vulnerable in some scenes? She struggled with being vulnerable from the beginning, and it was due to her protective nature, because the show literally caused her anxiety in numerous situations, and instead of getting better over time, her anxiousness actually got worse. She even gave the idea of leaving the show some thought. In an interview with British Vogue back in September 2021, with no hesitation, Zendaya said, Of course I go to therapy. She continued, I mean, if anybody is able to possess the financial means to go to therapy, I would recommend they do that. I think it's a beautiful thing. There's nothing wrong with working on yourself and dealing with those things with someone who can help you. Someone who can talk to you, who's not your mom or whatever, who has no bias. The actress stated that she experienced the first kind of taste of sadness where you wake up and you just feel bad all day, like what the F is going on? Zendaya questioned, what is this dark cloud that's hovering over me, and I don't know how to get rid of it, you know? Euphoria is a fairly dark show, and every episode has generated some level of dread in every spectator who has watched it. The show is so emotionally draining that some viewers abandoned it halfway through because it was too upsetting to watch. People have also expressed their admiration for the show, but despite the tension and glamour, they simply cannot binge-watch the entire thing without having a panic attack. Zendaya also understands how euphoria may be incredibly triggering for some people, potentially worsening their mental health. So whenever the show airs, Zendaya issues a trigger warning for anyone suffering from mental illness. She posted on her Instagram, Just a reminder before tonight's premiere that Euphoria is for mature audiences. It's a raw and honest portrait of addiction, anxiety, and the difficulties of navigating life today. There are scenes that are graphic, hard to watch, and can be triggering. Please only watch if you feel you can handle it. Do what's best for you. I will still love you and feel your support. Love, Dea. She expressly states that the show is about anxiousness and the hardships that individuals experience in their daily lives. She warned the audience that some of the show's scenes might be overly explicit and disturbing. All she wanted to tell her fans was that they should only watch the show if they believe their mental health can withstand the stress of watching the characters struggle so much. It just goes to show how much Zendaya cares about her fans, which is genuinely melting. She understands the complexities of the show's psychological warfare and how upsetting it may be for emotionally weak viewers. Again, in 2022, when the second season of Euphoria was released, she sent a trigger alert. I know I've said this before, but I do want to reiterate to everyone that Euphoria is for mature audiences, she wrote. 
This season, maybe even more so than the last, is deeply emotional and deals with subject matter that can be triggering and difficult to watch. Please only watch it if you feel comfortable. Take care of yourself, she continued. And know that either way, you are still loved and I can still feel your support. All my love, Dea. She's quite right too. Don't get me wrong, I adore the show, but sometimes it feels like I'm choosing to adopt a pessimistic outlook that I don't always want. Zendaya has a lot of younger admirers, so I applaud her for gently reminding them that not everyone will enjoy the show. She continued by warning her followers that this season will be much more explicit and upsetting and that they should only watch it if they feel safe doing so. She explains that the show can be intense and cause people to experience deep-seated anxieties and insecurities. In fact, Zendaya herself revealed in 2019 that she sometimes finds it difficult to keep up with the show. The actress previously confessed that she formerly battled extreme anxiety in an interview with Elle, so this is not the first time she has discussed her difficulties with mental health. She acknowledged that her performance in Euphoria was amazing, but added that it brought her anxiety every week. Zendaya said even though Euphoria coming out was amazing and exciting, it was also extremely stressful. It gave me a lot of anxiety every week. That's something I deal with. I have anxiety. I already know after this interview is over, I'm going to spiral about it for weeks. When attempting to pinpoint the source of her anxiety, the Spider-Man actor mentioned the high expectations she has of herself. I think a lot of it stems from the pressure I put on myself, wanting to do my best and not make a mistake. I definitely don't have it under control yet, she told InStyle in September 2020. She stated that she often told her mind that it was just a character, but her body and heart felt every aspect of the role, which is why she found it difficult to play Rue. Her body didn't realize she was only portraying the character, so she suffered the same emotional suffering as Rue. Fans praised Zendaya for opening up about her anxiety, which sparked a heated debate regarding television shows causing people's concerns. People on Twitter praised Zendaya for providing a trigger warning to her fans, saying that it is a nice initiative by Zendaya to truly let her fans know that some things may not be suited for an audience who is already dealing with anxiety difficulties. Some Twitter users praised Zendaya for including trigger warnings on her own show. It just means she's okay with it if you're not going to watch the show because it could be triggering. It's just a whole different level of bonding. In the midst of all of this, fans had their own theories about why Zendaya would want to leave the show. Some Twitter users have come up with their own reasons they believe the fights on the show are a little too violent. Even if you keep in mind that you are only playing a role, the conflicts can be extremely unpleasant and unsettling. The graphic nature of the show could be one of the reasons Zendaya wanted to leave Euphoria because her fans had never seen her in such a dark character, and her image on the internet is relatively clean and bleached. The startling nudity is a key reason that many people overlook. It's also possible that's why Zendaya wanted to go. The program contains far too much nudity, and many scenes are not even filtered due to the show's graphic nature. What are your thoughts on this? Do you believe she will genuinely leave the show? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more interesting videos. We'll be back with a new video soon. Until then, bye!